Okay, y'all, we're back. And... Yeah, I don't give a shit about patches, you know? I really don't. Gray Rat... Patches saves Gray Rat during his second expedition into uh, out for foraging, but I don't really care about Gray Rat either. I should probably look up to what the what the story actually is, because I've never been able to keep Gray Rat through a whole game. He always dies on the third expedition, and I don't know why, but. Ah. Oh, you have Estus as well. Alright, well. Yeah, we'll just do this for a bit. Or not. Okay. was a missed opportunity. Oh, you're out of Estes. Poor baby. Oh shit, we're still staggered? Nope, we're fine. We have more Estes. Patches is a bastard. So, every game he betrays you, I guess, so, um, yeah, we'll go over here, see what happens is you get partway down and he just drops it and then six a giant on you, which is like, why Patches, why? There's a bonfire here, I guess, so we can get that. Red soapstone is for invading other worlds. For letting people you in to fight you, I guess? I don't know. Like I said, I don't play that part. There's a bonfire. And then, there's nothing here to actually pick up, but this is a lady who lets you change your appearance in that covenant. I can't remember what you have to give them, but... So what we'll do. How many souls do we have? We got some souls down here. I think we're gonna level and then come back and fight the deacons of the deep. All these old corrupted priests. Which is to just say priests, eh? Hey, hey. Bastards. Can you think of more to say? The unsworn joyous game in Stephen, I think. Get Eva. Alright. So we need... What? We need 16 to... Ah! Gracious and awfully warm at that. Almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Yep. Oh, forgive. I'm sure an ashen one. <laughs> Alright. So we aren't gonna have enough. I thought we had more. So, can we sell other bullshit? Shields. Lots of shields we could sell. Stone Parma we'll keep that. We have to keep because we want to give it. Oh no, we don't have any shields to sell. Now oh, this one. Rings. No, I don't really want to sell rings. Siegbrow. I'm not going to sell it. Let's see what we can do with all this. 
Not even looking at the total. Well, we're getting close. I say as I look at the total. Um, so this, this, we're close. We're very close. If we sold the Seed Brow, we'd be good. So I need like 300 or something. What do we got here? 300, deep gem. That's probably good. That's all we would need. Well, what is that? Heavy? Yeah, we're not using heavy. There we go. Ashen one. Welcome. Okay, so we're gonna go with stamina probably, or just get up to twenty-five. Let me go with stamina. We have one soul left over. Look at that. Hello, Just like I knew what I was doing. Okay, so. Deacons. And then after Deacons, we can go to Irithyll. Deacons are kind of like High Lord Wolnir, or whatever. Like it's, it's a fight. It's not difficult conceptually. It's just kind of annoying. And what's annoying is when we don't get it on the first try. Oh, that would have been the better way to go. Was from that other, that other route, you know. But we're pretty practiced at this route, so it'll be fine. I don't know why that guy falls onto the, the banister, but that's fine. That works for me. Okay, so... Now... Yeah, you see me. That's fine. He's the only one that sees me, so that's fine. Deacons of the Deep. So we are going to take an Ember for the life. We're going to charge the sword. And we're going to go. So we gotta kill the one that's glowing red. That's the plan. Where'd it go? It's over there. Almost good. There we go. We did it. Where's the bonfire? There it is. And we get a million souls, which is enough for another level. Then we go to Irithyll. But we'll level first. And. We're not going to use... I can't remember what the items are. 
Oh no, it's a spell cast a spell casting sword, I think, that scales with faith. Ah, sure. Which we don't care about. So yeah, that's that. Or a bad spell that is bad. So we're gonna keep those. And level up. Very well, then hit. I don't know how many souls you actually get for it. 20. So we could do it, you know? Could do it. We could buy the... I think we just use it for a level. I don't care about going upstairs, really. Especially we can... Uh... Yeah, alright. So let's do this. Okay, so... Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Then... Yeah, see I'm tempted to do that thing where you jump off the tree to get up there. Get another Titanite chunk, because then we can upgrade our sword again. That's not fun to watch. So we're going to go back to Cleansing Chapel. We're going to give Siegvard his armor, so he should be in the well by now. And then we'll uh, we'll do our thing. We'll go to Irithyll. Irithyll's got a tough boss at the end of it. Broken sword, horse shit. Get out of my inventory. Alright. So we help Sigurd. If we finish his story, he helps us fight uh, Yorm the Giant. Who? It's another weird fight, but it's a good one. It's another one that I should be able to do on the first try. Uh, we're gonna go where? To Irithyll, right? Yeah. Oh, Irithyll. So we're gonna try to fight this monster on the bridge. And we'll just kind of do it till we kill him, but it is a bit of a pain. He's very big and strong. And, uh, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Because it just sort of appears. Hi! Look at that damage. See? See? So many damages. So we just keep trying. It would be good to get it. We can just run across the bridge, so if this is getting silly, that's what we'll do. Oh, look, now we're no longer embered. What is this? Dead end? 
wire ahead. Now, so somebody had sent a message that's like, there's a secret door over there. But, you know. There you are. There you are. Oh, look at that! We staggered him. This is really good for us. We did it! We got a lot of souls for it. So the reason we had to kill the deacons of the deep, you saw we picked up a small doll. The small doll lets us get through this kind of portal at the end of the bridge here. You see the kind of shimmer happening with the wind? It's going to make a noise. There we are. We did it. Oh, there's more of this stuff. Nameless soldier. There's one more over here. Somewhere. There it is. So we'll go back, we'll level one more time, and then we'll do another long walk to the next bonfire. So we need 18, 1. It's about 4,000. Well, let's sell one that's 5,000. Ashen 1. And then I don't know what we take. Welcome. Very well. Then take. I suppose we continue with the balanced build, you know? that's just what we do. We're not going to worry about our equipment load, we'll just kind of keep things light and take big damage if it happens, you know? We're a little ways from the next set of good armor anyway. Alright, so... Trigger, there's another one here. They don't like fire, so if we can hit them with fire... We'll just... okay, we're out of fire. Okay, well... I guess we won't, uh... So I was trying to let him go so I could block his attack and then attack him. But then uh, he didn't attack, so and then when we tried to attack, it worked. All right. And that is the toughest part of this run. The rest of it is just sort of being patient and then running really fast. That's how we're going to do the rest of this. 
These guys turn invisible. Which is a pain. Ooh, they're out of stamina there. Even though I've upgraded my stamina for a long time. So you see how they're walking really slowly? We need them to get to the kind of opposite side of this fountain. And then we can run by. So we're just going to sit here for a moment. Oh, there's an item right there. We'll take it as we go by. I think they could see us if we went over there now. So we're just going to be careful. We're worried about the big guy. Little ones, we don't care. But the big guy's got a huge long fire spell that can hit us. And one of them's actually going to be shooting us from up there. That item to our left is nothing. I guess. And then we wait for those two to walk by because why fight them if you don't have to? And then we're golden. Just as we were running by, I heard a uh noise as if there was a lizard over there, a crystal lizard, but I've never actually heard that before, probably because I'm concentrating on not dying and concentrating on running really fast. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. It might be a really important item, and I've just never dealt with it. Here's a bonfire. stuff. There's a covenant at the top of this, uh, whatever it is, tower. Look all the way up. It's up there. You get another sword that does bleed. Uh, in Dark Souls 1 there were those, I don't know what they were called, painting something or other. Anyway, and there's another covenant thing here, which we don't care. But we'll pick it up, because why not? There's a couple invisible guys here, which you can see the eyes through the back of their head. And then there's another one of these crow guys over there, which we are going to kill and take a couple items. You're like a couple items, Connor, but there's only one. No, there's not. There's two. All right. And the bone shard's actually important, so. Then we got another long sort of walk to another bonfire. Oh, we haven't sent Grey Rat out. We could have sent him out, but we didn't. Which is fine. So those dogs are a pain in the ass. And that item there isn't worth it. This room... Oh, Let's heal, shall we? This room's a pain, but... It's a lot of souls if we feel like doing it. Lots, but there's more. Oh, see that? 
taken. Nope. No damage. No takey damage. And then he goes invisible. Like a son of a bitch. And usually back straight up, but he's not there. Where'd he go? Who knows? Another guy in the corner. Oh, there he is. And then one, two, three, and maybe more. We'll see. Yeah, rafters. I was pretty certain there were people on the rafters, but... Oops. That should be it. I think there's a guy on the rafters still that doesn't fall down. And then there's a couple items up here. There's the Yorkshka spear, which is a, a spear that scales with faith. There's that guy. And there's a chest, which I, I think there's a second chest. It's not just Yorshka. I've been wrong before, though. Oh, he's a spellcaster. Good. And then, this is just a way out. So let's go kill... Fuckhead. Oh, did he fall down? Okay, well, we won't worry about that. Oh, there's more. There's two. I can sneeze! <coughs> I warned you. Another guy fell down. Where's the chest? There's a chest up here. I am all but positive. Oh, it's there. So we drop down to here. Then we get the chest. And it's not a mimic. And that's the spear. All right. So we did it. Oh, more to kill. And one more over there. So that's our spellcaster, I think. Maybe not. Either way, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's a room you can die in. And then we have a long walk. lot of guys you can die to here as well. There's a, a sparkly in there. Well, there's a blood gem or something up there. Hmm. Oh well. Uh-oh. So that screen was kind of a summoning of all of these guys. So they're all awake now. That's why you go for the blood gem that's up there and then drop down, take some damage. This guy there. Oh, there's the blood gem. Okay, well, that's good. Anyway, that's why you drop down from there, is to kill them before he screams. And then there's these guys. So, they're kind of huge spider things, and uh, their hair stretches out, and if you trigger it, they attack you. We'll see them more in a moment. Here's a dead one. The graphics are a little different between the ones that are dead and alive, so that's nice. And what I didn't know for the longest time, so there was that huge monster on the bridge. I would always fight him before moving forward and kill him. But one time I learned that you didn't have to, you could just run across the bridge. So I was like, sweet. That's done, that's in the rear view mirror. And then here, it'll just appear and fight you and you can't actually run very fast because of this deep water. Oh, see, there's more of these bastards. And I should have killed them first. Oh, 
Having a shield in this game is super cheap. But it's better than dying. And we got enough for another level, I think. We'll go get these green... Yeah, there's nothing in there. We'll get these green blossoms, because we'll sell them too. Fire here, which we will get. Then go back and level up. Like you do. Which do we have enough? No, we require. 26 more souls. Well, let's see if we can find them. Uh, Ashen one. Well, it's very well then taken. Guess we just keep going stamina. That makes the most sense. At least another couple points. And then we'll start putting things in vitality or go back to strength and dex. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, flames. Guide the. Did we find another one? We did. By the crow guy. The crow guy, or the Corvians, are big in uh, that expansion in the, the snowy place. So it's kind of this ugly, poisoned crow people. The rot. So, we can go down here. Or we can go up there. We're going to go up here. We're going to connect the dots up here. And, uh, so now, if we were to send Grey Rat out to uh, pillage again, get some new items for us, his ashes are going to show up in the back corner over there. up it's poop watch oh it's not okay every other time I pick something up in here it's poop we're just gonna sneak by and by sneak by I mean go real fast this is excrement covered ashes which is a nice place to get trapped I don't think hey, and it's our buddy because we saved him right I don't think they can fit through this door oh they don't even try okay So, I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude, and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I'll make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Ooh. 
Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithyll, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I've a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Here's a sleep. Oh, Sigurd. Bless you. So yeah, we're gonna go to the profane capital, and we're gonna try to kill Yorm. We're gonna hug this wall, because there's an archer right up there. And... Now these guys are very strong. If they hit us, we will get hurt. So we're gonna try not to. And this doesn't do a lot of damage, does it? So we're gonna come on over. We're gonna fight you in here where the archer can't hit us. Oh, I didn't have my shield up. I was like, I was blocking. But I was blocking with my hand and body. So, you know, not very effective. Oh, we gotta climb through the poop place again. Which was up here. So yeah, we're gonna try to get through all these silver knights. And then open another door. Which will let us easily get to Pontiff... I think it's Sullivan, but I always called it Sulvain. Because who reads names in fantasy? We're gonna try to just dodge. I don't want to fight all these guys. And Sigurd is still there, so that's cool. And we're going to make sure to put up our shield. We might be able to sneak by, but... I don't know. Might as well kill him, right? What's nice about these ones is uh, when you kill them, they don't come back. So you can take a few tries at it. Backstab! There we go. We did it. We're gonna run out. Hear that? That was a large arrow. Also, so was that. So there's two more. There's the bow and arrow, and there's a guy right there. So we're gonna lure him over and let him do his electrical attack and hope it works. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. I should have kept attacking, I guess. Oh! That was close! Do we still have a fire sword? We do. I think it's gonna go away. So we are gonna reapply the fire. And then... We're gonna fight Dude Buddy. good. And there's many chests up here, and none of them are mimics. So that's nice. Got a bunch of large titanite shards. Small. 
Og and Ornstein. I think I've killed them like twice out of 50 attempts. I hated Smog and Ornstein. I've had playthroughs of Dark Souls 1 where I just got to them and stopped. Like, more than one. Oh, stuff. Alright. And we have another kind of long walk. Now there's stuff where there is a thing over here, right? Am I crazy? I am crazy. Is it over there? Yeah, alright, so there are dogs that are gonna show up now. Haha, -ha. come doggy doggy. aren't even all the dogs. Those are just some of the dogs. And we'll go up and get this guy and I think more dogs show up. And then there's one more behind this thing. Pretty sure we're done this area. Pretty sure. We got, oh, there's a message and that's it. So we're gonna unlock a door down here, even though, or up here, rather. Even though we hopefully don't need it. Even though we got a lot of souls, I think we can do it. There's another room with a bunch of freezy invisible guys, but we sort of get through it easily enough. Is there nothing here? Okay. And there's definitely a secret or two I miss here, but that's fine. through, so we do have to kill them. There's a bunch more down there, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Okay. So here is the issue. These guys are tough. Come on down. Well, we were lucky there. We got staggered or something. Backstab. One more up here. Yes. Wasn't there a thing? Okay. I thought there was a secret here, but I was wrong. Pontiff Sullivan is in there. And there's this guy. Oh, there isn't this guy. Wasn't there? I thought there was another one. Been a while. There are two invisible guys here though, so that's fun. Opened this. But since these guys are dead, 
we have a good uh, opportunity to get a lightning gem. And I think a ring, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna do is very sneakily drop down here. We're gonna use a homeward bomb so we don't risk dying right at the foot of other stuff. Uh oh. We go this way. And avoid him entirely. So we'll go heal. And then... I don't know if we take a break or not. I don't know, I don't know. Not heal, rather. We're gonna go level. Because we got a lot of souls again. Sullivan's a pain. He's one of the harder fights in the game, Welcome and I'm not very good at him. Very well. then take it's one of the ones where I definitely call in helpers just to draw fire, you know? Um, so... Oh! don't have I mean if we could finish them that would be huge it'd be a good way to cap the episode There's a neat little farming thing here, too, because this guy that we're going to drop on is worth a lot. Oh, he's still alive. Oh. Did you leave us anything? You did. You left us lots of stuff. Holy macaroni. We have taken damage. drop anything you didn't can we get there first yes haha -ha. all right so I think we should ember up and call in some help. That's what I think should happen. And we got a couple options. We got whoever this is, who I think is a computer, and there's Black Ann Goddard, who we like, you know. He gets in close, he does damage. Draws their attention. Welcome. Yeah, alright. Let's go, bud. Go get him, black haired daughter. That 
back up. Oh shit. Hit him, Goddard. That's nice, because he's a toughie. Praise be to Black Hand Goddard. All right. What time is it? 11.30. Well, let's do some general upkeep stuff, and then we'll take another break here. I'm going to start my day. Okay, so we should start getting some vitality. good for us. So we can actually wear good armor because we're about to pick some up in a little while. Oh, So what do we got? So we can buy Titanite Shards. We could go get the Cleric, but we don't really care. The only thing I really like to use the Cleric for is, uh, which is, sorry, that's what the Grave Key unlocks, is the spell that lets you clear cure poison. Um, but that's fine. No spells, I don't care. Just weapons, I don't care. Any good armor? No. Arrows. Could use some arrows. Got a couple key, or rings, rather. So yeah, nothing really... I mean, we could buy those buy those so we could leave messages, because that's just sort of fun, you know? Um, so let's sell. What do we have to sell? Wow, we have so many souls. So what is this? 32, 44,000. We could sell from all that. Ashen one. What is our... Okay. So 28. So we could get three levels out of all that and still have more. Let's just take a look. Pontiff sells his swords, I think. Which I don't really care for. Like I said, we got better swords. Uh -huh. So yeah, so there's the one that does dark and the one that does fire. Yeah. Don't care. Okay, so we'll sell that. We'll sell one of these and see if that's enough. I bet it won't be enough for two. I bet we'll have to sell one more. Yep. Oh wow, I really did the math wrong. Like, so wrong. Actually, we weren't gonna do that. We were gonna do Vitality. And 
that. So we need like 21. Which we're gonna say is three of those. Pretty sure that's all we can do. So, we've got nine plus five plus two. Yep. Unless we started selling this stuff, but might be worth having. I don't know. I don't know. We still only have one chunk, so we I could do mind. that. Let's just end this with uh, trying to jump the tree here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna level up our. Uchi Katana once more, or at least get the thing to do it. Did a great seed fall? Yeah. So if we get invaded, we can uh, consume the great seed and then bad guys will hit them. And they'll be like, what? No. if we were a little off to the side. That was the worst one we've ever done. Nope. Maybe we won't level up the Uchi Katana. We'll save it in case we get one of these balanced swords. So there's a Lothric long sword or the dark, the dark knight sword, which we didn't get and we wanted. I think we'll get the Lothric sword. I think it's a little longer. And it has a thrust like up under shield sort of thing. That was not what we did. Okay. There we go. Pump a rum. Where are you? There we go. This guy's for if you like invading. Instead of getting cracked red eye orbs, he gives you a full one, which is just usable, you don't have to consume them. You observe it. <laughs> I pity it was... Farron. Uh, I think it's a, it's a a backstab ring? I don't know. So... Yeah, let's just kinda stay here for now. I think we'll take a break. That's a reasonable time to take a break, so. But we can see how long we've been playing this particular run. Uh, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Not too bad. Certainly make better time than the first time through the game, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a gooder.